In exactly one week, First Lady Michelle Obama will kick off the 2015 Special Olympics World Games in Los Angeles. And organizers have tapped Saida Garrett, you know that name, a Grammy Award-winning singer, songwriter, to perform the Olympic theme song, Reach Up L.A., which, of course, she co-wrote. Sounds so good. Of course, you'll remember uh, Saida Garrett for her duet with Michael Jackson. I just can't stop loving you. Remember this? Garrett also co wrote Jackson's hit, Man in the Mirror. Isn't that also great? Wow, incredible music. And Saida Garrett with me now. What a great honor. I've been a fan for years. Joining us from Los Angeles. Thank you so much. And me to you. Oh, fantastic. So you have incredible staying power. You've just been and done so much in the music industry. But what is different about this? Being part of the Special Olympics, quite extraordinary. It is. It's my uh, second opportunity to co-write the theme song for the uh, opening ceremony. And the theme song, Reach Up LA, was conceived by the Davis Ellen Advertising Agency, whose client, Toyota, is an official sponsor of the Special Olympics. And I was invited to write the lyric and the melody with my uh, co-writers and producers uh, from the Davis Ellen Agency, uh -huh. Kevin Nato and Bert Kelly. Wow, so um, what do you think of when you are trying to co-write, when you're trying to come up with this material, what are you envisioning? You know, what do you, I mean, this is a great upbeat kind of, you know, tune, of course. It makes you excited about L.A., who isn't? But, but what is it that you envision, you know, when you, you know, put those, you know, the pen to paper and those, you know, thoughts into words, all that good stuff? Well, I, what I think about is the subject, and the subject in this piece are, are these Special Olympians. They are so amazing the 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 situativeness and the the um uh the energy that they bring to this whole uh ceremony is just awesome and and the work that they had to do to get to where they are is so mm. much it's magnified by the fact that they are often uh plagued with emotional physical uh, mm -hmm. disabilities so the fact that they persevere and yeah. power through and and are champions is so heartwarming and I'm, I was just all I had to do was just convey that in a, in a melody and a lyric and it was really when you uh, think about the Olympians it's really easy oh yeah they are so inspiring and that really speaks to them the pace so you know this music it's upbeat it's exciting you know it just makes you envision reaching reach reaching so you know you have worked with so many incredible artists I mean Michael Jackson you know say no more um, you know Madonna Quincy Jones and and I, I wonder you know, I know when I hear a Michael Jackson song, I just kind of like, oh, Michael, what do you think of, given your very close relationship with him, um, with all of this music, what do you think of when you hear his music? Um, what kind of memories, you know, come about for you? Oh, here we go. I, there's not a day that goes by, even when I'm not trying to think about mm -hmm. him, I could pull up next to somebody in the car and yeah. their window's down and he's on the radio. I could walk into a department store, he's on the, in the air. I could walk into an <laughs> elevator, he's on the music. He is omnipotent, he's everywhere. Yeah. And I don't even wanna think about him sometimes and he's, he's always present in my life. So I'm, I'm happy to have that memory with him. I was really lucky to spend the, the year and a half that I spent with him on the Dangerous Tour. Aww. And I'm just proud to be associated with him in any way, really. Wow, and Quincy Jones, I have the honor of interviewing him a couple years ago and he is too is like bigger than life uh, when you hear music produced by him much of Michael Jackson's music produced by him but other artists too um, what, what what do you think of where is he in kind of your well, memory Qu bank Qu Quincy is my mentor he's the one that discovered me he's the one that introduced me to Mr. Jackson he's the one that Aww. introduced my song to Michael so I'm I'm forever indebted to Quincy Jones and he's the guy that I co-wrote the Special Olympics song for the Shanghai Olympics in, in uh, 2007. And you I'm just, just really pleased to continue. I can't, I can't, you, I'll stop when I die. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So what is next then? What's on the horizon for Saida Garrett? Saida Garrett is writing a, um, an autobiography. 
um, and I'm, I'm making an album that is to coincide with the book that I'm writing. Um, and I'm, um, uh, other than the, the book and this uh, Special Olympics project, I'm so stoked <laughs> to meet Flotus. I'm going to meet Flotus. <laughs> yes, you are. The first lady of the, the United States. I can't, I can't wait. Well, I can't I'm sure wait. she is really excited to uh, meet you, too, because you're an incredible American talent. And, I, don't, uh, I don't know about that, but thanks oh, anyway. Oh, come on. You know it. You know <laughs> it. You're amazing. Hey, Saida Garrett, thanks so much. Uh, great seeing you. All the best. Uh, hey, next thanks weekend. for having me. Special thanks for having me. Awesome. Appreciate right. it. No problem. All right.